What is up Web Studio creators? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Vimeo component on Web Studio to insert a video player onto your own website. To get started with the Vimeo component, head over to your components and under media, you will see Vimeo. Simply select the component or drag it onto your page and you'll then see a Vimeo instance has been created in your navigator. So with the instance selected, head over to your properties panel and from here, we are going to add our Vimeo URL. So I'm going to quickly jump over to Vimeo, copy the URL of my video, jump back to Web Studio and paste the URL in here. With the URL added, you can see it generates a preview of your Vimeo video. From there, you can define the quality. By leaving it on auto, it will automatically adapt to the user's bandwidth speed. But if you wanted to set a fixed quality, you can do so with the drop down here. Next, we can show a Vimeo preview. And what this will do is it will fetch the preview from Vimeo's website. See, if I preview this here, it's now showing the video with the preview image in the background. This is great if you want to quickly generate previews, but keep in mind it adds a little bit more load time to your website as it needs to do that additional work fetching the image. Next, I'm also going to enable do not track mode. Do not track prevents Vimeo from collecting data on watch time and other statistics of the video embedded on your website. I'm also going to define the controls color. So I'm going to paste in a color that I have here. The controls color allows you to customize the look and feel of the player even further by changing from the default Vimeo colors to your own brand colors. This is great if you really wanted the entire site to have a consistent look and feel. If we look at the preview here, you can see the pause button as well as the watch time has been changed to the brand color that I added. Next, jumping back into my editor, I want to customize the look of the play button as well as the spinner. I can do this by selecting my Vimeo instance, clicking the drop down, and from here you will see preview image, spinner, and play button. The preview image here replaces the image that Vimeo fetches with your own. This is great if you don't want to add that additional load time. For this case, I'm going to change the preview image to one that I have defined. So with the preview image selected, head back into properties, source, and you can now choose your own preview for the video. I now want to customize my play button. For my play button, I want to change two things. I want to change the box that contains the icon and I want to also change the icon itself. For this use case, I'm just going to change the background color of my box. You can change any of the style properties within Web Studio. So with the play button selected, I'm going to go into the style panel, scroll down to backgrounds, and I'm also going to replace this background color with my main brand color. Chuck that in there. You can see it updates the background color. And then I'm going to expand my play button to select the play icon. From here, I'll be replacing this icon with a new one that I've designed on Figma. So jumping back into Figma, I'm once again going to select my play icon, right click, copy, paste as SVG. And then I'm going to jump back into Web Studio and replace that code. Once again, I'm going to adjust the width and the height that was set by default on Figma. To something that applies to my website. So for this case, I'm also going to go with 100% for the width and 100% for the height. You may also want to change the color of your icon. To do so, simply select the play icon parent in your navigator, head over to your typography color and switch that out for the color that you want. Again, for this use case, I'm going to use my primary brand color and then I'm just going to change the shade a little bit so that it's slightly brighter. If we were to once again have a look at what this looks like in the preview, you can see that I have my updated play box, my updated play icon. When I hit play, the spinner is hidden and then the controls and the design of the player are customized to my brand colors. And that is how you can use Web Studio's Vimeo component to create your own video player on your website.